Dear users of Flared, here is Beniamino, and I'm proud to introduce you the new version of Flared. This is a new era for our add-on, because for the first time we have Direct Cycles Render, that finally is here. We had to wait for 3.1, because the Blender Foundation has begun fixing issues that uh, happens when two planes interpenetrate one to the other. There still be some issues uh, related to interpenetrations, but we know that uh, they are going to uh, improve this situation in 3.2 and other versions. So, let's just show you what's happening now. Uh, I have installed uh, this uh, 1743, that is not what you will find on your store, you will find 1.2. Eight. Uh, I think in the next few days uh, it will be released and you will receive an email from the store. This will be the version that you have to install uh, starting from, from Blender 3.1 because uh, this is the real version of Blender that, that could handle these new shaders that we have done to work directly with cycles. We didn't forget to work with EV because if you want you can work with EV as before but now you can work in cycles too. This is the big change. And let's start taking a look of what's happening now if we add a flare working with cycles. This is the situation. Uh, this is cycle uh, direct preview. Uh, I've got an old GPU, so please consider that if you have a, a RTX, the result will be faster. Uh, I'm using GPU compute, but I can use a CPU compute too, uh, that is uh, just a little slower. And you can try uh, the, the better configuration that you will find here into your system panel. You can use CUDA or Optics, or I don't know what is this, so please do your uh, choice knowing what are you going to do. The, the first thing that I have to say is that the transparent light paths have to be very high because if we uh, take a uh, lower uh, value here we will have a bad result because we need a lot of transparency uh, to handle the flares. So 200 may be good but if you work adding uh, a lot of uh, sunbeams and uh, a lot of ghosts maybe that you need more than 200, you need 400. You will try this uh, value accordingly to what you are doing here. There is another important thing that is this one. Uh, as you can see now we have removed the options to move your flare on a new scene that would be rendered in EV because now we don't need this uh, workaround anymore and so we have removed it. Uh, we hope that you can work fine with cycles with direct render so that we don't need this function anymore. If you still need to work with this function you can find into the preferences and into the add-on uh, into flared you will find this cycles legacy mode that means that if you activate this you will have this function there again but we suggest you not to use it because we are going to remove this uh, permanently in the next versions of Laird and so consider that this new version we didn't have the time to make uh, too much testing about retro compatibility but I think that the old scenes that you've made with the old versions of Blender uh, will not be compatible with this new version. Because we have made a lot of work, consider that we have done from scratch all these shaders to, to create this new uh, chain that is going to be rendered in cycles. So we have done a lot of work. Uh, I think we have added something like 1500 nodes. I think this. Sometimes you can have some issues related to planes that interpenetrate, that is a problem. I will try to see if we can uh, find a situation that shows this kind of problem. As you can see now there are five flies here, but I think that they will be removed when cycles go deeper into the render. Okay, they are disappearing. If you have this kind of issue, please use the denoise, because denoise uh, is very good in removing these kind of problems. And I've made some tests, and in my tests I had to uh, set it on albedo and normal to have the better result in removing this kind of problem.
I've seen that using CPU uh, compute, uh, the result is better about Fireflies, but I know that is really slower. So you have to make your choice. There is one more thing to know about this new version, that is this one. I will add an octagonal flare, okay, just here, and we'll move my my scene. Uh, I deactivate the denoise because oh, my GPU is slower. Um, sometimes you can have, as we already said, um, some issue related to interpenetrating planes. I will add more ghosts to see if I'm... Okay, this is a problem. Uh, take a look at this. This kind of of shape is not good. Uh, a lot of time uh, the problem will disappear uh, when cycles go deep in rendering and will uh, fix this by himself. Um, I just try to switch to EV to watch what should be now this. Okay, this should be the, the real render and it is not. This is too emissive. This is a real problem. You can see the differences between, between this shape and these other shapes that are good shapes. So um, we've added this uh, new control that is the ghost seed that is um, into all the templates that use the ghosts. And using this control, you can modify the seed of the generation of the ghosts that are related to a particle system. Uh, trying to avoid the generation of interpenetrating planes that is what happened here so uh, let's try to go to another number okay this is better there's no problem here uh, and you okay here we have another problem and here there's no problem so uh, you'll have to choose the the combination here is another problem there are flares templates that are better than others into this kind of issue you will have to move this accordingly to to your flare uh, trying to to find the, the, the better situation uh, that has no this kind of problem uh, in this moment we we find this kind of workaround when this kind of problem happens we know that is not a final solution but we also know that the blender foundation is working on this kind of problem of cycles and maybe that in the next version of blender we will see some fixing uh, made by their uh, new code okay um, so now this version will be in beta version for some weeks just to let you give us your feedback if you find problems if you find issue if there's something that is not clear you can write us and we will uh, try to, to fix and to understand the problem with you uh, if we will see that this version is good and we don't have feedback of uh, strange issues we will uh, turn this version into a stable release uh, and so Try it and let us know uh, if you like it. And uh, as all the other uh, update, this is completely free for everybody who has bought Flare. So uh, thank you and give us your feedback and have a good blend and have a good Flare. Bye.